What up, what up, what up? This edition of Fat Boy Fresh, we're gonna be doing the new surf and turf. That's right, we're gonna be doing a Tuscan stuffed chicken with a keto garlic mash. Say fat boy fresh. I said a keto garlic mash with a stuffed Tuscan chicken. This edition of Fat Boy. Tired of the same old same. I played his lame. Who's gonna change the game? Uh -huh. Fat boy fresh. Yep. Fat boy fresh. Red one, bread two, check. Fat boy. Fat boy fresh. Yup, fat boy. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna be doing the uh, Tuscan stuffed chicken. So I got some beautiful uh, chicken cutlets here. And I'm gonna be stuffing that with some mozzarella cheese and some portobello mushrooms. And like I said, I'm, it's gonna be a surfer turf. So I got some nice Gulf Coast shrimp there. And I'm gonna be doing a keto mash. Keto mashes, I'm gonna be doing uh, a mash cauliflower instead of potatoes with some garlic. We're gonna garnish that with some parsley. Of course, I got my good seasonings that's going on here. I'm gonna have a nice little creamy sauce to go with it. All right, so let's get right to it. Okay, so right off the bat, then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna season up these chicken breasts. I'm just gonna take some uh, garlic here, and I'm gonna crush up a couple, and dice up a few of those things right there. And we're gonna uh, season up these chicken breasts here with some nice, uh, Pink Himalayan salt there, and some of my trusty little uh, Italian blend there. So what we gonna do, we just gonna put these in here like this right there, like that. Add a little bit of uh, herbery going on there. Spice to make it nice. Add a little bit of seasoning and a little bit of oil to make that stick all nice like that there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna incorporate this real nice. No need to over season it because we're gonna have that nice creamy sauce that's gonna be going on top of that. That's gonna make everything just right. All right. So now that we got this all good and seasoned up, I'm gonna let this sit and marinate for about a half an hour, all right? Just to make sure everything is going as planned. I'm just gonna poke this sucker a couple times, you know? Just a couple times. Let everything get all infused in there. All right? We're gonna let that sit and let it all uh, marinate. Okay, at the same time, it's good for the goose. It's good for the gander there, all right? So we're gonna season up these uh, shrimps the same way with some garlic and some salt and a little bit of olive oil, and that's about it. Okay, while we got all that good marination going on there, let's get these uh, portobellos all nice and chopped up. We're gonna saute these with some uh, olive oil and some butter. Cause everything goes better with butter. Man, that sounds good. Everything goes better with butter. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't it the truth though? So what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna stuff chicken with it and whatever's left over we're gonna use for our, our little sauce there, all right? See a little bit of garlic going on there. That's gonna make that taste mighty fine. We got garlic flowing on through this, but it ain't gonna be overpowering, trust me. Trust and believe. We got so many different 
flavors combined going on here. Got that umami going on. Ooh, umami. Yup. Just like that. Alright. There. Let's take this on to the stage, son. Okay, so let's add a little bit of uh, olive oil to our pan there. Put some butter in there. We're gonna let that sit there and uh, get all good and happy with itself there, all right? I got this on medium high. I don't wanna have it too high. So what we're gonna do is just add them mushroom all right put that garlic on there add a little bit of salt just a little yep Cook those up real quick. All right, saute these lightly. Something like that. There. Shut that off. Oh man, that garlic smells good, baby. Put these off to the side and let it dry. Okay, so we got our nice moots in, nice moots of them. Mozzarella, we're gonna make some nice little uh, slices that we're gonna stuff that chicken breast with. And uh, I think this is overkill, but it's better to have more than not enough. Okay, so we got our nice marinated chicken breasts here. Just gonna take these out. We're gonna make some little pockets. Stuff all that goodness up in there, all right? The best side is the side like that bit. All right, just gonna stuff it in there. And if some comes out, it's all right. All right, because the cheese gonna make it like glue. You know what I mean? So everything gonna be just fine. Put a little piece of cheese in there. Mushrooms on there. Some mushrooms on there. All right, just like that. All right, now what we're gonna do right now is gonna pan fry these babies up real quick. Just brown them up, and then we're gonna stick them in the oven. Okay, so I pan fry these on each side just to brown it up real quick. You know, and then now we're gonna stick them in the oven. 375 degrees for 15 minutes, all right? Okay, so in the meantime, in between time, while that's going on, we're going over here and get ourselves uh, this keto mash started up, all right? What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna wash this off real good, all right? I don't need the whole thing. This is quite enough here. Half the head of this, right? Just gonna chop this up. Some nice little manageable pieces there. Take that stalk out. Don't want that. Get that up out of there. Just the florets, all right? Nice. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put these in here. With a nice little bit of salty water. Much water. Salt this up nice. Put some Himalayan. We're gonna steam these on the stove top. So, got a little ahead of myself. I'm gonna add some, uh, like I said, this is a garlic keto mash. So, I'm not even gonna uh, chop up the garlic. I'm just gonna uh, take it out. Put it in there just like that there. Alright. It's gonna be and metabolism. Alright. So we 
want this to cook until it's nice and uh, tender so you can mash it, which I would say would be about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna put the top on that and let it steam up, all right? Okay, now our cauliflower is doing real good there. I just wanna cut the heat off and let that just sit there because I think that's good enough desiredness. I'm going over there and give it a test. Take the biggest piece. That's very tender. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let that sit in the water for a minute till I'm ready to deal with that. Right now, let's get to these chicken breasts. Okay, fresh out the oven. Chicken breast is looking nice. So what we're gonna do right now, is we're gonna take these out pan. I'm gonna let them rest for a minute because we're not done with them yet. Cause I gotta make that nice good old sauce that's gonna be going on there, all right? We're gonna do this uh, surf part, all right? Didn't forget about that now, did we? No, we did not. We said it's gonna be surf and turf, right? Just gonna put that in there. Add a little bit of butter to that. Just a little bit. Butter makes everything better. Getting on my Paula Dean. <laughs> on the sparsely as parsley. <laughs> Something like that there. cook the daylights out of these either. When they start to curl up nicely, start looking opaque on the corners there. That means we're doing pretty good. So let's give it a flip. All these different flavors is combining. We got that garlic and that parsley. We got a little bit of the uh, you know, chicken residue that's going on in there. Cause we cooked that chicken in here. We pan fried it, then we put it in the oven. Now we got this scampi going in here. And then we gonna add that sauce. We got our keto mash. Oh, baby, we doing gravy. Okay, well I'm liking that right there. So. I'm gonna take these little babies out. Have some of the mushrooms from earlier. Add some cream. Let that come together real good, like. that up to a nice little uh, rolling ball so we're gonna add a little bit of white wine to that let that cook off real quick so I get ahead of ourselves turn that down just a little bit cook that off now we're gonna make it a little nicer and thicken it up with a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese there actually this is some Romano Pecorino all right. Just want to get that in there all nice like that there. And as soon as it gets thick enough, we're going to add that chicken back to it. So we're just sitting there and just get all them juices going right. Okay, it's starting to get all nice and thick. Just going to add a little bit more of this. Uh, grated cheese to that. Like this here, it's basically just Alfredo sauce. Add a little bit of nutmeg to bring them flavors through. All right. Oh yeah. That's a one. That's a two. -hoo -hoo. Just let them sit in there and bathe. All right. Just gonna let that sit in there for about five minutes or so 
let's say 10. All right. Sitting there, just soak it all up. Get happy with each other. All right. So while I'm doing that, in the meantime, in between time, what we're going to do is we're going to go on and screw all over here with this keto mash. Take care of that. All right. Yeah, that's looking good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drain this water. Okay, I drained it. I still got some garlic cloves in there. All whole. What we're gonna do right now, get us a good little mash up. Okay, so there you have it. We got the Tuscan stuffed chicken and our keto garlic mash. Is that Alfredo sauce? Mm. No. You ain't gonna miss it. Not having mashed potatoes no more. Cauliflower, boy. Woo, keto. Okay. Not popping. Check out this chicken. Mushrooms and that mozzarella, that Alfredo on top, with the garlic. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's that new surf and turf. Mm hmm. Same, my plate is lame. Who's gonna change the game? Uh -huh. That boy fresh. Yep. That boy fresh. Red one, bread two, check. Fat boy. Fit of that sh. That boy fresh. Yup. Fat boy fresh. Fat boy flex. Slice, dice, and crash. You make salads and dollars and salads and maids and Italian, Asian, and Cajun. Yup. Yep. Fat boy, boy fresh. fresh. Yeah, that boy, put it in that Is you dumb? Boy, you already wrong, they're ready wrong. Sound of the ages, they're ready wrong. Keep that ear to the pavement, they're ready wrong. Number one, three, and nine spot. Is you dumb? You already wrong, they're ready wrong. Sound of the ages, they're ready wrong. Keep that ear to the pavement, they're ready wrong. Number one, three, and nine spot. Is you dumb? You already wrong. R E D E E R U M T V. R E D E E R U M T V. They're ready wrong. Sound of the ages, they're ready wrong. Keep that ear to the pavement, they're ready wrong. Number one, three, and nine spot. Is you dumb? You already wrong. 
TV.